first stop to think about how many masks you're hiding behind or have hidden behind throughout your aging experience. Question for you. Have you ever stopped to think about how many masks you're hiding behind or have hidden behind throughout your aging experience? So this question popped up in my head earlier this week because I was working on a workshop that I plan on facilitating in September. I'm excited. While I was working on that workshop, I started thinking about the different masks that we wear. And a lot of them could be influenced by ageism, but they could also be influenced by fear and shame and guilt and embarrassment. All of the things that we might have come face to face with before at some point in our lives. And some of those masks could be, you know, the mask of perfectionism, which is one that I've worn. Uh, so many times. Yes, everything's gotta be perfect. All the T's gotta be crossed. All the I's gotta be dotted. It's gotta sound this way. It's gotta look that way. Uh-uh, no, that ain't right. Do it again. <laughs> that mask that I've worn for years, and we've talked about this. You know, I done told y'all I'm a perfectionist. A recovering perfectionist. But all of that was like rooted in fear of being rejected, fear of someone calling me out. Other masks that you all may have worn could be the mask of, I'm good, no, nah, I'm good. All the while, on the inside, you're hurting, you're sad, you're angry, it's all of the above, right? But you just don't wanna be honest with how you're really feeling. And then there's the mask of conform to whatever. You wanna fit in. And so you do whatever you gotta do just to fit in. And there's the mask of I'm not aging. The one that's like, I deny getting older cause I'm not, <laughs> I'm not getting older boo boo. This right here don't age. There's that mask of just being afraid to say I am getting older because of what, what does that mean? That uncertainty and the fear that comes with accepting those things. It is so important that we take note that all of these masks in some type of way are taking away from our aging experience versus adding to. And I'm all about adding to my aging experience, you know, like enhancing it, okay? And I'm sure that's what you wanna do as well. But if we continue to put on all of these different masks, layer on top of layer on top of layer on top of layer all we're doing is making it more challenging for us to really navigate through this aging experience because we're holding ourselves back from being our authentic selves so here are three things we can do to peel off that mask first get a clear idea of why that mask exists I told you why my perfectionist mask exists because I was afraid. I was fearful that people would reject me. The second thing that we can do is recognize it's not just us who is wearing a mask. We all got a mask or two or three or 10 in our closet that we pull out from time to time to hide. So in those moments where we kind of think, ah, something's a little off with me because I don't see anybody else out here fronting like I am like, man, what is wrong with me? I just want you to know it's not just you. And then the third thing is knowing the power behind really sharing your authentic self. And that doesn't mean putting all your business out here in the street. Like there's that line of privacy, but then keeping it real with the people. <laughs> and you'll see that there's so much power behind just keeping it real. Let the people know who you really are. I tell people all the time, Whenever someone reaches out to me and says, hey, we would love for you to come and speak, I give them who I really am. So I never change my voice. I never change, like I, when I talk, I do all of these things. I don't change that. I never change my hair. 
I don't change anything about me. I give the people what they want. Nah, but I give people who I really am. And that is something I want you to be able to experience as well. There is power behind being authentic. There is power behind keeping it real with the people and knowing that in your realness, it's a good heart behind it, okay? I learned that from my pastor right there. Like, you do it all with a good heart, you good. <laughs> I share all of this because so often we wear these different masks and we never take the time to see how it has a negative impact on our aging experience. And like I said, I'm all about adding to the aging experience, not taking away from it. So tell me, what is one mask that you recognize or are currently recognizing in your aging journey? And how might letting it go enhance your aging experience or touch someone else's life? Let it grow, no, because I'm sitting up in my room, waiting to hear from you. Hey!